What if I told you that all of this airborne high impact motocross footage and this high speed street bike footage were taken with the same little GoPro mounted directly to the handlebars. Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we are going to look at the TacForm Enduro Series GoPro mount for motorcycle handlebars. Previously I reviewed their motorcycle cell phone handlebar mount and they were pleased with my review and they decided to send me this GoPro mount. So in return I decided to make another review. Installation is super simple. Put the plastic spacer on the handlebars then bolt the mount around the spacer. Afterwards fasten your GoPro camera to the top of the mount and use the adjustment knob to set the camera at the proper position and angle. That's it. For off-road or high impact use, make sure all adjustable points are tightened securely because losing an expensive GoPro would really suck. As you see, the GoPro obviously follows every little movement of the handlebars. So if you're riding dirt, you'll see bumps and hard impacts without a stabilized GoPro. I'd imagine that the new stabilized GoPros would look pretty sweet with this mount, but I am yet to try it. And since any little movement of the handlebars is captured, mistakes made while riding are made very obvious on the footage captured. So don't mess up. A neat feature of the mount is the ability to rotate the head in any direction which means some pretty sweet angles can be recorded. I recorded this footage during an easy ride on my FZ6, first on the freeway, then on some curvy roads. I was very pleased with the versatility of the mount. Another thing to mention is that this mount doesn't just work on handlebars, but on any round bar or tube from 7 8 of an inch all the way up to an inch and a quarter. As for build quality, this little guy is impressive. The parts are made out of machined aluminum, and you can tell. The top part that holds the GoPro secures the camera much stronger than the traditional plastic GoPro mounts, and all adjustment points fasten down very tightly with ease. I definitely prefer this mount over a typical helmet mounted setup, as the handlebar mount doesn't add any weight to my helmet, and for high speed street riding, having the camera tucked in behind a windshield is a huge benefit as it doesn't add drag like a helmet cam does. So try one out. Even if you keep your helmet mounted camera, it's always nice to have multiple camera angles and can really help when documenting a ride trip or a track day. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing for more airborne footage.